Hey guys, this is Mountain Walk, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Krenko. That's right, uh, updated the sweet Krenko deck, and uh, figured, oh, well, might as well, might as well make a sweet video about it. So, as you can see, we got the sweet new old border foil Krenko. Uh, very cool, very sweet. Um, yeah, this deck is basically just based around... Uh, putting a lot of goblins into play. There are some sort of like infinite combo things as well as some um, just regular like damage dealy red stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a combination of both. Of course, this isn't like super mega competitive, so like no jeweled lotus, mana crypts, ancient tomb, city of traders, mana vaults, that kind of stuff. Um, but obviously, that stuff is very, very good here. Uh, and I, like I may or may not even play it if I wanted to, uh, just because like I, you know, generally just like having uh, less uh, super powerful decks. Um, but uh, Krenko is really sweet because it's, it's definitely a deck you can like play it in a more casual way with just like playing goblins and then playing Krenko and then tapping him and making goblins and doing stuff rather than always comboing off or whatever. But that is an option in this deck, and there are a couple of uh, different combos in here, so anyways, yeah, let's get to it. So, of course, we got uh, we'll start with the non basic lands. We got Great Furnace, just good for all the combo sort of not combo, but the sort of combo synergies with uh, stuff like Goblin Welder, Goblin Engineer. Don't have Welder in here yet, um, I think it's slightly worse than just Engineer itself. Um, but it's obviously very strong. Uh, Citadel, same thing. Uh, Buried Ruin, again, we have a ton of artifacts that are good to recur. Castle Embrith, because it's a go-wide deck, obviously. Uh, make a lot of goblins. This is a, another anthem that also does something else. So, um, very good here. Then the Bugbear, uh, Creature Land that makes more dudes. Uh, provides a pretty sweet clock and comes into play untapped during the most important parts of the game, more or less. Um, very good here. Scavenger Grounds, this card is uh, sweet. Um, this Greater Hate is basically free, you know, sack itself. And, um, you know, I guess if you had other deserts, you could do it multiple times, but generally uh, you'll just use it to um, just exile all graveyards. Good anti graveyard heat. Uh, that's that's no del no no deck building cost. Excuse me. Now we have War Room, uh, sweet card. Um, definitely, you know, pretty free in this deck. Basically, you only pay life to draw a card. Good mana sink um, comes to play untapped. All that good stuff. And of course, we have a whole lot of basic lands. Holy moly, uh, 28 basic lands and 7 non-basic lands. Oh my gosh, uh, there are so many. Why are there so many? Who put so many basic lands in this deck? That guy needs to get a talking to. Anyways, um, let's, let's <laughs> move on to the mana acceleration. Again, of course, we have Soul Ring. Um, only bad thing about this card is, of course, has this awful art. Old Border's good. Um, but I don't feel like putting, like, you know, my, <laughs> like, you know, beta soul rings in this or whatever. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, whatever. It, it's soul ring. It's a good card. Yep. Thought Vessel, just another two mana ram card with some amount of upside. Um, it's not totally, uh, trinket text, but it's definitely, um, not going to, to break, break the game you know, for you. Uh, so it's, yeah, Thought Vessel's fine. Just another good two-mana ramp spell. Same thing with Felt War Stone. And Arcane Signet. And, oh, wow, could you believe it? Same thing with Fire Diamond. And Mind Stone, which can at least cash itself in at the end of a, a, a turn or something if you have too much mana. Um, Patriarch Seal uh, is very good to get off Goblin Engineer to... Um, not only ramp yourself, but as well as untap Krenko. Um, so Seal is pretty sweet. 
definitely a good card. Uh, Thran Dynamo, yep, this produces a bunch of mana. I mean, Krenko tends to draw a ton of heat, uh, a lot, and so you've got to die a bunch. So um, the extra mana acceleration is pretty nice to be able to keep recasting him. So yeah, um, that's why I like this kind of stuff. Again, same thing with Gilded Lotus, except it also can cast your red spells. Uh, pretty sweet. Uh, Gauntlet of Power. So it's a, not only is it a ramp spell, but is also uh, very good with Krenko when you have a bunch of dudes out. It's a sweet card. Big fan. Same thing with Cage Sun. Nothing too new here. And last but not least for the mana ramp stuff, for the most part, is Brightstone Ritual. Pretty sweet, pretty fun card. Very uh, thematic, of course. Um, real big dirty kitty vibes here. But yeah, Brightstone Ritual. Um, very sweet to uh, uh, make a million mana, play your combo cards, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, very cool, very cool. Okay, then we'll start on the Goblin cards. So we have Muxus. Uh, yep, this card is sweet. It does Muxus stuff. It's not exactly as great here because there's only 30 Goblins total in the deck, not counting Krenko himself. But it's very good with Recruiter and it's just a sweet card and super fun, so I, I gotta play him. Um, Kiki is... Uh, two things. Kiki's part of the infinite combo with Snoop, um, as well as just being good at copying uh, stuff, so getting value. So yeah, it's a sweet card. It's also a goblin, again, obviously. So good stuff there. Siege Gang's just a great way to re um, a great way to recover from sweepers, as well as offering more direct damage on random weenies and stuff. And uh, yeah, just a sweet card. Um, very cool, love it. Skirk Fire Marshal, uh, great way to draw the game. Um, it's always fun to draw the game with Skirk Fire Marshal. Uh, that was gets a kick out of me. Uh, definitely pretty fun, pretty sweet card. Um, can just be used to reset the board too, which is generally how it's used. But yeah, you can draw the game, which makes me laugh. Always makes me laugh. Uh, Goblin Pyromancer, pretty awkward card, just because like it does nothing or very little by itself. Um, but it's pretty sweet when you have a decent amount of goblins, and uh, you can alpha strike and kill a bunch of people. Um, yep, yeah. and of course you can always negate the drawback by sacking it to something. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Ringleader, um, not exactly again the best in here, but uh, still pretty sweet. I, I love the card, so I gotta play it. I mean, that's th those are the rules. If I love the card, I have to play it. I have to play it, so there you go. Trashmaster, uh, one of the first lords that we're seeing, and also is uh, good artifact hand. So, yep, pretty simple. Rummaging Goblin, he uh, lets you loot, gives you extra cards, gets rid of extra crap, and uh, does good stuff like that, so that's... That's basically why he's here. Yeah, pretty, pretty sweet. Goblin Sharpshooter. Uh, very, very good against token decks. Very good in combat. Um, yeah, when, when just stuff dies, uh, this dude untaps. So it's very good when your opponents are attacking each other. Um, and good when you're attacking your opponents. Good when you're blocking. And this card just does everything. It is super sweet. Pashlik is sort of the same thing, can kill stuff, um, but generally, um, sometimes you'll use it to make dudes as well, sacking one dude to make two dudes or whatever. Um, but yeah, sort of in the same vein as Sharpshooter, but also part of the uh, conspic Conspicuous Snoop combo, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, goblin Matron, again, it's just a tutor, that's a goblin, very sweet. Jim Palm Incinerator, uncounterable creature removal if you have a bunch of goblins in play. Very sweet. Alright, Warchief. Uh, this card is sweet because Warchief is sweet and it kills stuff. Or kills stuff, excuse me. It lets you kill your opponent because you know, all your stuff has haste and costs less and very good. Very good there. Um, 
top goblin bandit lord, yeah, this dude is uh, another lord. And lets you kill stuff very cheaply. Very good with Krenko, obviously. Uh, Chieftain's basically the same thing as War Chief, except it's a lord, or a, a, you know, a, a glorious anthem lord, I should say. Uh, Goblin Recruiter. Uh, great with Muxus to let you put in a ton of dudes, as well as set up another ringleader, as well as set up your conspicuous snoop combo. Um, this thing just does it all. Does it all. Uh, it'd be even better, you know, if we had, like, Cavern of Souls in this deck. Sometimes I feel weird about, like, running expensive cards in my commander deck. Anyways, but, um, yeah, Recruiter, very sweet, very powerful, um, definitely great. Uh, lets you just draw, like, tons and tons of gas, so, um, that's always good. Again, the Snoop combo we'll get to when we come to it. War Marshal. Sweet card, love the old art. Uh, of course, I like the new art too, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. Just a good dude puts a bunch of crap into play and gives you a little tiny bit of wrath insurance. Goblin Tinkerer, it kills skull clamps, and it also kills soul rings and other stuff. So yeah, this card's very sweet. Goblin Engineer, this card. Tutors for stuff, your combo cards, right? Think like Umbral Mantle or the like, and you can put them into play. Um, and uh, that's why we play stuff like the uh, Artifact Lands, Star Still Citadel, Great Furnace, that kind of thing, uh, to get those guys into play. So yeah, very sweet card and uh, pretty, pretty great. Lets you uh, also recur things. Runveld Horde Master, another Lord, as well as another Card Advantage Engine. So, very, very sweet. Battlecry Goblin. Uh, puts a bunch of stuff into play. Another haste enabler. As well as it, uh, well, yeah, puts more stuff into play, right? You know, more goblins. And just being a 2 mana 2-2, two, two, it's a pretty solid body by itself. Uh, very sweet here. Very sweet here. Snoop. So, basically, uh, with Snoop, what you'll do is, uh, with the combo... I mean, again, you can just play this as a normal, like, I just play goblin cards off the top of my library, you know, to gain card advantage. Uh, but with uh, Snoop, you can actually combo with it with uh, Goblin Recruiter and Kiki Jiki and Mog Fanatic. Or even something like um, uh, Patchlick Mons in play or something like that. Or uh, Goblin Bombardment in play. Um, so what you'll do is you'll uh, have the Snoop in play, and then you, if you snack your deck with Recruiter, you can use a Torch Courier to give it haste to cast it off the top, and then um, have Kiki Cheeky on top, make a million copies of it, then have the last copy make a copy of Recruiter, and change the top card to Mog Fanatic, and then when all of these cards die, um, then you'll get... Uh, a million bajillion, or you can, excuse me, you can sack them for a million bajillion damage uh, to your opponent. So, yeah, pretty pretty sweet. Obviously, like, Torch, torch Courier isn't exactly required if you have, like, a haste effect in play, but it, it makes the, the combo more compact, and, like, it's a pretty small cost to put, like, another random goblin into your deck when it's, like, the more random goblins especially cheap goblins you have in play when you activate Krenko, the better. But anyways, yeah, pretty pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Dark Dweller, yeah, this card is sweet. Let you play a bunch of stuff. Um, very good with all your mana ramp. Um, yeah, sack tokens do stuff. Let you dig to important cards. Uh, just, a, just a sweet card, just a sweet card. Yep. Piledriver. Classic, sweet card. Look at that art, so good. Um, not much to say there, it just does everything the Pile Driver does. Attacks through blue things, gets big, gets big, big. Sparksmith, uh, yeah, when you have 40 life, the drawback on this card basically doesn't exist. You can just start blasting. <laughs> and I just started blasting. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. So, very sweet, very good card for killing things. Skirk Prospector, very important card for, like, negating, you know, damage 
those dealing effects, you know, fogging, adding mana, uh, good, um, a good part of the combo with uh, Kranko, right? Uh, making a million dudes, sacking them, and then uh, putting Krenko back into play, and then, you know, casting him again, activating him again, and so forth. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, as well as it's, uh, I mean, it just it just does everything. Skirk Prospector just does everything. Very, very sweet card, very good stuff. Goblin Cherugian. Uh, Cherugian's actually a real word, a real word, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, it's like the, uh, the, the people that, uh, cut your limbs off and stuff in, uh, on the battlefield or whatever. Because, you know, you got a big, big bad wound and it'll get infected and then it'll kill you and so on and so forth. Anyways, um, yeah, this is a sweet card. Very, very good against a bunch of different wrath effects because most of them don't uh, stop regeneration. And it's just another cheap card for Krenko in general. Lackey is good because it's one mana and it produces a million mana and it's great with a bunch of different cards. Uh, really not much to say here. Pretty, pretty self-evident. It's basically a, a ridiculous mana accelerator. Fanatic, mostly just for the combo, um, but it can kill like uh, uh, things like um, you know Birds of Paradise and Land of War Elves and stuff like that. Torch Courier, uh, very specifically just for the combo. All right, now we're going on to the removal spells. Uh, Mizium Mortars, I like a lot just because um, this card it just deals four damage to kill stuff, and then you can overload it to Wrath sort of, and uh, that's pretty sweet, so it's just a very flexible, versatile card, does a lot of stuff, very little cost, mostly, <laughs> so good good stuff. Vandal Blast, basically the same thing, another overload card that kills an artifact or all other artifacts, so same stuff. Chaos Warp, one of the few ways to deal with enchantments and stuff, and super big creatures or whatever, um, just, just a great, flexible card and super cheap, and I never leave home without it in Mono Red. A Blasphemous Act. Um, if your opponents get out ahead of you and have their own big board, you can cast this guy for super, super cheap. Cheap is one mana, and that's awesome. Like, this card is so sweet. So, big fan of it, big fan of Blasphemous Act. Alright, now we're getting to more utility stuff. Impact Tremors. Yeah, this is uh, pretty good with Cranko. Uh, kill stuff, does things, and, uh, yeah, kill stuff, like your opponents, a lot. It's very cheap. Uh, yeah, it's simple as that. Uh, shared animosity, basically the same thing, just requires your dudes to attack, or turns them all into, like, you know, rabble masters or pile drivers or whatever, so, yeah, pretty, pretty sweet card, very, very cool stuff. Bogart Shenanigans, another anti-wrath card. Um, very, very sweet. This is also another part of the uh, uh, con conspicuous snoop combo when all your stuff dies. Um, so yeah, sweet card. Good against wrath. Good with the combo. Um, good just against you know random removal and, and blocking and, and, and stuff like that. And it's even a goblin itself. It's a tribal enchantment. Very sweet. Uh, bombardment, basically the same thing, except you can use it as removal for creatures um, aggressively, right? Which is sweet. Uh, Goblin Bombardment, very cool card. Obviously very thematic. <laughs> Throwing mogs at stuff. Um, yeah, very sweet card. Uh, yeah, not much else to, to say here. Good when you're making a million dudes. Good when your opponent's wrathing. Just basically good all the time. Alright, now we'll go into the more fun cards. Uh, some of the mana denial kind of stuff. Um, we got Winter Orb. Again, just mana denial against super mana heavy decks. Um, again, same thing with Blood Moon. People that skimp on basic lands. Why well, won't let you be cheating? You can't be cheating. You gotta play your basics, homie. So yeah, playing the Blood Moon. From the Ashes, same thing. If you cheat on basic lands, I'm gonna punish you. I mean, I'm sorry. I just That's just how the game works. I don't know. Oh well. 
Uh, same thing with Ruination, except no one gets any benefit except for me from Ruination. So, yep, good stuff. And of course, we got all of our utility artifacts. Uh, Ashton's Altar is a combo with Nkrenko. If you have enough goblins in play, uh, you can sack them and sack Krenko and recast Krenko. And if you have a haste enabler, then you can um, get infinite creatures, basically, and infinite colorless mana. Um, pretty sweet. Coat of Arms. This card is sweet because I am a huge, well, obviously the, the sweet Scott Fisher art, but um, and the flavor text. Uh, but it's just too fun not to play. Like, how can you not? Like, I have 10 trillion goblins. Uh, I want to play Coat of Arms. It's going to be sweet. So, yeah, that's my logic. This card is awesome. Vanquisher's Banner, uh, same thing. just a, a anthem as well as a uh, card drawing engine. So, yeah, casting all your random goblins, making them get bigger. Very sweet. Very sweet. And it's got this nice old border now. Uh, Lightning Greaves, yeah, very good on Krenko to give him haste for obvious reasons. Same thing with Swift Foot Boots, make him, make him, make him hasty, give him his, give him the business. Skull Clamp, the only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have the old art, um, but yeah, Skull Clamp is broken in a deck with a bunch of cards that you can sacrifice easily to it. So, yeah, not not much, not much else to say here. Uh, Bracers, yep, this card is broken in, uh, in Krenko because you can just make a shitload of dudes, a whole bunch. So yeah, very, very powerful. Sword of the Perunes, you can make in well, infinite dudes and or an ex exorbitant, an extremely large amount of goblins. Um, so yeah, Sword is very, very good and it's also... Even um, if you have an haste enabler, it's like a, a, an anthem too, right? So a pretty sweet card. Mage Right Stone, again, the same thing. Untap Cranko, very awesome. Make him tap again, do awesome stuff. Very cool. And of course, Umbral Mantle. This card is sweet, uh, untaps your dude, and uh, Makes makes them uh, produce a lot of goblins, a lot of goblins. So that's it. That's basically it. I mean, like I said, there's a ton of different things. Think of like deflecting SWAT or the like that you can play. Um, I mean, I probably play those cards like if I ever bothered to get them. But like, <laughs> I hate the fact that they even exist in some respects. So, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, Krenko, super fun deck. A lot of old border cards now. We can get even more in this deck. And uh, big fan, big fan. So um, yeah, a lot of good stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, yeah, good good stuff. Um, think of all the cool goblin cards, cool goblin tokens you can play. Oh my gosh. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. So thank you for stopping by, and have a great day.